In the next few videos, we'll show you how to build an app, but in a more sophisticated way than you might have seen before. We have our prototype, a simple to-do list where you can mark items as complete. In this video, we'll create the UI. Basic UI components are on the left, but there are many more built-in components in the marketplace. Let's get started. To have greater control, we add container components to group other components. We add a container for the entire UI, and then containers for the new task controls, as well as a container for showing an individual task. We rename the containers to easily find them in the tree view. At the top, we add a button to let people add a task. When people click, the button will be hidden, and the container with components for adding a task will be shown. In the Style tab, we stylize the button with one of the out-of-the-box styles. You can always click Edit to customize the style with shadows, sizing, colors, and more, and save these to new styles. Inside our first container, we add an input for the new task title, and two buttons, one for canceling and one for creating the new task. We also stylize these, one as the primary button, and one as the secondary button. But since we want the buttons side by side, we must add another container. Put the buttons inside the container, and then in the Containers Layout tab, select Horizontal. For displaying the tasks, we design a single task UI inside the last container, and use the tree view to add three components, a checkbox to indicate when it's done, a title, and an icon for deleting the task. We change the icon to the Fiori Decline image. Again, we set the layout of the container to horizontal, and this time we also set the alignment. For the container style, we select List Item to give it a nice shadow. Let's go to the Launch tab, the Web Preview, select our app, and we can see how it looks.